what's up what's up good morning it's your girl boss queen steph okay this morning i'm gonna give y'all uh 10 tips on how to boss up your life what had helped me it is the second week into the new year y'all and guess what it is time to boss up you can't be doing the same thing you was doing last year so let me give you tips on how to boss up your life okay step one wake up when you wake up in the morning say your affirmations you have to speak life and love and prosperity and wealth and help into your life nobody else is going to do it for you you have to do it for yourself when you wake up go ahead and program your mind that you are happy you are happy being happy is a mental thing being happy is a mental thing once you believe that you're happy once your subconsciousness believe that you're happy you are happy you will be happy like it's all a mental thing you're sad and you're depressed and you believe that you have anxiety all because you program your mind to believe those things so start transforming your mind transform your mind to believe that you are love you are peace you are joy you are bold you are strong and that you don't have anxiety you are not depressed you are not scared so say your affirmations every day as soon as you wake up say i am happy start your day that you are happy no matter how sad you might be going to that job no matter how sad you might be as an entrepreneur and thinking about all the thousand things that you got to do that day no matter how how much burden you have on you you still need to wake up to prove to, to to tell yourself that you are happy step two put on some makeup put on some makeup get dressed feel good girl you are pretty you are beautiful you are amazing get up get dressed start your day don't be walking around the house i should be walking around the house with pajamas on and because once you you know walk around the house with pajamas on you feel like uh you feel blah but once you put on that nice shirt that you see my shirt mom life is the best life i'm a mom okay so my shirt always reminds me that i'm a banging beautiful you know i'm a i'm a i'm a banging mom you know i want to say something else but you know so excuse that um timer thing that is <laughs> my sensor going off all the time but yeah so <laughs> i'm a beautiful mom this mom makes me feel strong and bold like i'm that mom you know so just putting on your favorite best outfits that make you feel love and and feel you know feel like you're beautiful put on that beautiful outfit wake up feeling good about yourself um you know when you put on that outfit you feel you feel good you feel confident you feel you know like you sexy you know what i'm saying that i wear i wear my mom shirt mom is the best life i got it from fashion nova i love this shirts okay i wear a lot of mom shirts because i feel like i'm a big beautiful mom you know what i'm saying like i'm banging behind mom <laughs> so um you know anyway just put on your best outfit to make you feel good about yourself that's all you gotta do um and put on that makeup that makeup you can feel confident and going in front of people knowing that your face is not crusty your face is not ugly or, you know or whatever the case might be a lot of times um putting on makeup makes pe makes people feel good about themselves um so anyway step three pray you cannot start your day without praying god is your provider he's your protector he's your savior he's everything he is everything Okay, so you need to pray to God. Thank him for waking you up today. Thank you for letting you have a good day. Go ahead and speak it that you will have a good day. You will have a good day. Today is going to be a great day. Okay, so wake up, pray. I don't know what your belief is. I'm not going to go into that too much, but wake up no matter what you believe in, pray. That's the first thing you do. That's, that's the first sacrifice that you should make is praying to God. So step four, spending less time on your phone. Spend less time. Don't wake up in the morning and get go straight to your phone because what you might see on the internet or on social media, that can bring your whole day down. So I go to sleep with my phone off <laughs> and I won't cut my phone on until I want to start my day and social media won't be the first thing I look at. <laughs> um, so I mean, my emails are my first thing that I look at because that's where the money at. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> so I go with the money at, <laughs> but, um, anyway so don't look on your phone uh, spend less time on your phone start uh picking days out of the out of um speak, picking times i'm sorry out of the day where 
you can go and look on your phone look on social media you have social media checks okay so that way you're not turning your thumb and you're looking at timelines and you letting time go by you're letting days go by just scrolling on your phone scrolling down your timeline where everybody else out here living their best life and they're making all their money and they're bossing up and they're trying to you know show you that you can do this too you know but you should still scroll on your phone scroll on your phone letting time and days go by and you ain't done nothing yet with your life so i hope this video brings you where a starting point where you, this can help you boss up your life and go ahead and get started that's it so spend less time on your phone get organized get organized i have been getting organized within the past weeks as this new year has started i have um these trays these like little spinning 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 trays um that i'm going to put in my i can't even spin it <laughs> but it spins guys it spins and I'm just trying to um, get organized myself. Um, once you feel like you're organized or my cabinets and everything in my house is organized, it gives me so much peace and relaxation because when I go to look for it, it's all right there. It's all right there. It's labeled. It's nice and neat. It is perfect. So getting organized. I did my closet uh, a couple of weeks ago my closet is organized my bathrooms are organized i'm starting to work in my kitchen that's why i'm in my kitchen i'm going to start getting my cabinets organized i have done a few cabinets but i still have to go more cabinets to do um but yes get organized get organized that's step five number step six step six eat healthy eat healthy i cannot stress this enough but you are what you eat. You eat trash, you're going to feel like trash. You eat healthy, you eat clean, you're going to feel much lighter. You're going to feel skinny. For some reason, you just feel skinny. You have much more energy. You're much more happier. But when you eat heavy, you eat trash, you feel, oh, you feel, you feel heavy. You feel blah. You're tired. And you wonder why you're tired all the time. Um, so just eat healthy. Um, I'm not saying go out and eat salads. A lot of times salads is not all the way healthy for you either, depending on what kind of salad that you get. But, um, you know, just research some healthy stuff. Um, I'm just trying to cut back on meats and eat a lot more fruits and vegetables. Um, and stay away from dairy because <laughs> dairy will blow you up, gassy, all this other stuff. So anyway, that's with me. But anyway, so eat healthy, drink more water, baby water is golden okay water is pure gold drink that water girl drink that water flesh out your body flesh out your system water actually flushes out the bacteria in your body um so yeah drink water <laughs> i can't stress that enough i used to drink sodas all the time i used to drink sodas all the time and you know caffeinated caffeinated stuff so much caffeine caffeine will blow you up make you gassy um it gives you indigestion gives you heartburn um but yeah stay away from sodas and it has so much sugar in it it has so much sugar in it but anyway i picked up a soda one time this year we're already into the third week of the year i picked up a soda one time this year because i just been drinking water so much i couldn't even finish it i gave it to my kids i couldn't even finish it because i programmed my mind to believe that I need water, not soda. <laughs> I might, you know, do juice every once in a while. Juice has sugar in it too, but I do no sugar uh, with juice. But, mm, excuse me, <laughs> but I drink a lot of water. Drink your water, girl. And work out. Step number eight, work out. Work out. I cannot stress that enough, but as you get older, I'm almost 35. And what I realize is, as you almost get as you almost reach that you know that <laughs> up there that age your body becomes more achy more tight and stretching out stretching what actually you know makes you feel makes you feel good so you just have to stretch work out work your body out because you just don't want to be sitting down all the time and gaining weight and you ain't got you know no energy to do nothing you know just stay busy and work out every day it actually it actually releases reduces stress and it makes you feel good about yourself and everything else so anyway so work out work out every day stretch those bodies stretch that body stretch that muscle especially if you're sitting at home all the time or sitting at a um sitting at work at a desk you always want to stretch your bodies and stretch out work out or just be active no matter if you go walk run 
or whatever um for me I, I just lift weights and i get on my treadmill every day and i feel good and it actually makes you more productive it reduces stress but it actually makes me more productive it actually makes me more productive but step number nine take a bath <laughs> take a bath i cannot stress that enough yes you can take a shower yes you can take showers or whatever but taking a bath and sitting in the bathtub and actually relaxing i use dr till a lot of times in my bathtub um but when you take a sit down bath and you just relax especially get dr till oh my gosh you will feel amazing <laughs> it's amazing it's actually another stress reliever so just take a bath relax have some me time to yourself and um yeah just take a bath step number 10 read 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 so when you spend the less time on your phone do more reading do more reading it's so fun to get up in the books fun reading is fundamental fundamental <laughs> um so yes read 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 i love um reading i have actually started reading mid of last year so i'm starting up me a book collection and i actually just love reading sometimes and just reading in the books not on social media but reading my books um but yeah so those are the 10 tips that i gave you to boss up your life boss up you who you are first because once you health is wealth so once you feel good about yourself and once you boss up your life and who you are and have healthy mornings everything else will fall into place your finances your your love life finding that husband that boyfriend that you know whatever you looking for everything else will fall into place but we have to start with ourselves so today i gave you 10 steps on how to start with yourself and boss up your life it's the beginning of the new year y'all we are not doing what we was doing last year and start scrolling our thumbs on social media it is time to boss up focus on us focus on getting around people that are like-minded like us and just you know being happy and you know everything else and just creating a life that we enjoy that we love doing for ourselves but anyway i love you guys these are these are 10 steps to boss up your life and i hope that you guys can take these 10 steps and, and combinate them in your life thank you for watching this video